Today we're going to be talking about the SX70 and a really cool project that's happening with it. But first I want to show something else that was sent into my P.O. box by my good friend Willem Verbeek. If you don't know Willem, he has an awesome film photography YouTube channel. He sent along a package that says, Hey Matt, as a thank you for continuously inspiring myself and so many others, here's my newest zine, America's Playground, and a couple of prints from the series. Big thank you for everything you do. P.S. This stuff doesn't officially release online until the 21st. So if you don't know Willem, he has a great channel and he's been shooting a lot of stuff for his new zine, America's Playground, which is all about Coney Island. There are some videos on his channel as he's out shooting for this thing, which is really good to watch. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. But he sent over some prints from the series and they look amazing. A lot of stuff around Coney Island, everything from the rides there, the people there, really, really rad stuff. He also sent over a copy of the zine itself and as to be expected, it's really rad. So the design of the cover I really like. It actually wraps around the back and uh, the cover, the text cover at least, it's on the back itself and it even folds out and opens up even further. Really cool design. It has this sort of like matte finish uh, eggshell texture to it. The printing, everything looks great. Colors are awesome. I love the design and even the layout. There's some uh, fold out spreads like this, as well as some uh, poetry to go with some of the photos. Really rad stuff. He knocked this out of the park. Again, it's releasing on the 21st online. I believe there's going to be an actual show and like release party. Um, I'm nowhere near them, so I wouldn't be able to go even if I want to. But uh, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check that out. And he actually sent over a second copy as well that I'm going to be giving away on Instagram at Matt Day Photo. Uh, I've got a few things I want to give away. I'm about to hit 50,000 followers there, so I've got some cameras, some film, a bunch of different stuff I'm going to be giving away, including a copy of Willem's new zine. So big thanks to Willem for sending this stuff over. If you haven't checked out his channel, be sure to do so. But what we're really here to talk about today is the Open SX70. This is something that was sent to me by Joaquin de Prada. I hope I'm not butchering your name. This came all the way from Barcelona, and this is a little chip. Basically, it's known right now as the U dongle, and this thing attaches into your SX70, and it's going to let you take full manual control of the SX70, as well as adding a few other features as well. This is a very early prototype. This is just something that Joaquin actually made for himself. It wasn't really something he wanted to make and then sell to people, but he's looking for feedback. So he knew I loved the SX70, so he wanted to send it to me so I could kind of just share my thoughts on it. Um, he wasn't really asking for me to make a video, but what he's doing is awesome, so I want to share it. Um, there's a whole website about the Open SX70 project. I'm going to put a link for that in the description below. And you actually have to have a modified SX70 for this to work, so that's why he sent the SX70 uh, that has been modified in order to accept this. Though if you want to see what the process is to modify the SX70, Marco from Analog Things, on his channel he has an entire stream where he takes his SX70 apart and modifies it to work with this chip. So definitely check that out. It's really uh, intimidating to watch. I don't think it's something I would want to tackle myself. But he sent this over, so I was really excited to try it out. And over the last week, I've had a lot of fun with this thing. And it's really got me thinking about the possibilities of using this format and being able to have more control of it. Honestly, one thing I love about the SX70 is that it has a meter built right in. I've gotten pretty used to knowing how the meter works and being able to predict you know, how much to adjust the exposure compensation wheel. Because if you're not familiar, this camera has a fixed uh, aperture of f8 and the shutter speed is going to be determined based on this light meter right here. So you have a little bit of control with the exposure compensation dial there. And I like that. I like the simplicity, not having to meter for every shot. But at the same time, it is nice to take full manual control if I want to shoot something like that. Years ago, I shot a lot with the Polaroid 180, and I would shoot it for a lot of portrait sessions. I liked being able to take full manual control, meter for very specific areas, and get really good results that way. But I also liked using my Polaroid 250, which was an auto exposure camera, and it was great to not have to meter every single shot. And it was reliable enough that I could use it for just kind of like hanging out with friends and taking candid kind of snapshots like that. So it's just a different style of working, I think. But whenever you want to take full control, you have a little bit more time to slow down, I think, especially for portraits. Having the ability to control the shutter speed really opens up a lot of possibilities with this. So you have this little dial here that you just rotate around to control your shutter speed. 
Obviously, this is so small, all the shutter speeds aren't listed. You have A, B, C, D, E, F, and then zero all the way to nine. So on the back, actually, on this little thing, there's essentially a little cheat sheet that will tell you, you know, if you take a meter reading, what does your EV scale say? And then it'll tell you what number or what letter that will correspond with and tell you what shutter speed you're using. So you have the full manual shutter speed control there, a PC sync port, which is great if you want to shoot this thing with flash. Unfortunately, I don't have the appropriate cable to use with this. I'm so used to using triggers now that I don't have any PC sync cords. So I wasn't able to test this thing out with flash, although that would be a lot of fun. Um, but you also have things like multiple exposure. So if you want to shoot multiple exposures with this, you can totally do that. Uh, mirror delay, you even have a built-in self timer. So if you just double click the shutter button, this little thing will light up and it'll start flashing and it's going to give you a 10 second countdown and let you know as it starts flashing quicker and quicker that there you go. So having a built in self timer is awesome. Uh, I used to have like a little accessory kit for my SX-70 and one of them was a little uh, cable release that would plug in right here. Um, but it's nice just having that built right in. So really, really cool that he's able to add so much functionality into a camera this old. Um, I would love to see where this whole project goes because uh, the SX-70 is one of my all-time favorite cameras. And if I could take one, even if it was just I had one that was just all automatic and I didn't have to modify it, but then had a spare one that I wanted to use for maybe portrait sessions and uh, things that maybe the exposure would be a little bit more tricky, uh, that would be awesome to have. So super excited about this. Joaquin, thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm super excited about what you're doing. I'm excited to see where the project goes. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. I'll try to answer anything and maybe Joaquin can hop on there, maybe answer some of your questions as well if you have anything directed towards him. Uh, kind of sharing your own thoughts, maybe ideas for where this thing could go definitely leave those down below. So thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.